Hello friends, welcome back to the channel, welcome to our plays, and welcome to No Umbrellas Allowed. This is a game about buying and selling tat. Sort of. Bit more dystopian than that. I'll get into it as we go along. So I was going to record the entire intro for you and show you it, and I realised how long it is and faffy when I can do a TLDR. But essentially, there's a bomb goes off somewhere, a blast that delays the dropping of Fixerain onto Agic City. Fixerain is a population control measure used by this government, and I think the implication is that I was involved in it somehow. And for the meantime, I have to pretend to be this old guy's son and run his pawn shop for him. Here's the AVACA trying to keep things under control, and we've got people happy about it, and lots of people protesting us. The Fixer cannot save us. It's essentially they're putting antidepressants into the rain, from what I can tell. Yeah, it's quite dystopian. Anyway, here's a shop. This is Hugh. Hugh sort of advises you on what you should and shouldn't buy, sort of, but mostly just comments on the people who come in. This is Darcy, it's the shop, and he decides he's going to let you run it. Oh yeah, my name's not Bob. The general gist of things is that Darcy is anti-government, but on the sly, so, like, he's helping you out by taking you in, because otherwise the government would have just made you disappear. Yeah, you buy and sell items, and there's but there's rules about everything, obviously. AVAC don't want you to sell certain things, for example, umbrellas. So if someone comes in with an umbrella, you're to keep it and then give it in, because no umbrellas allowed. That's the name of the game, the, the, the thing. Anyway, here's the tutorial example. This is a very basic thing. Um, you have to match it up to materials and condition and whatnot, and get a price for it. So he's giving you this very basic bag. Card 1. Customers introduce their items with cards, so they tell you what it is. Then you've got to make sure what they tell you matches up, and if it doesn't, it can either be better for you because you can buy it for cheaper, or it can be better for them because it's worth more. There's a difference between cards. Green cards are facts, so it's like, that's made a lever. Or the blue cards, which are like, well, that was popular, or there's not many of that. And then it goes over here into this little bit here, and then that gives you the price. Focus on bagging the price based on colours. So, grey card says bag, which means it's worth 100 banners. And Brande is high end and it adds 200 value. Uh, Cowhide adds 50 value. And then there's a slightly damaged version, which lowers it by 20% because it's not perfect. The price given there is 280, and obviously you want to try and barter it down. So, he says cut it by at least a third. So a third of 280 is about 93. Yeah, that's about right, 190. So you put 190 into your little till type thing here and offer it. But mostly customers won't accept your first offer and it just becomes a barter and trade system. About 240, I'm going to say 210. Yeah, well, fixing you, it took 500 and gave you a thousand seed money, which means I owe him 1500. And if you make, make enough money, I can pay him it back take 15 per day as interest uh, so you want to get it paid off obviously yeah you don't just want to pay off the debt you need to keep yourself money so you can keep on buying and selling things as well do i have any items at the minute no i do not that's fine but i have a thousand vanis and avac is telling us that the day has begun he doesn't like avac either the association will stay closer to you than ever until fixer comes down again that's great oh and here we have our first customer hello ma'am Yes, I am new here. What are you bringing me? Daughter gave this to my ex-husband, who used to be her father. Woo? Oh, that's him, is it? I see. Right. Is that by 35? I'm not allowed. Can't appraise yet. I don't have the tools to appraise it. No, I just have to barter for this. So, yeah, you said 35. So let's go for 35. She just wants rid of it. She accepted 35. That's fine by me. And now I own that. I can get that, and I need to put it in the shop window. Customers can't see. Ugh. Customers can't see what's inside here. That's my inventory there. So now you have to go. I was doing an explanation game. So your inventory is here, and obviously customers can't see what you've got in your back room. So you just press the showcase button up here, and then you can drag it over. So at the minute, I'm going to recommend that there. So you praise it. 60 bought for 35. Special price will be 60. So let's go for 60. 
This card will give you more advantage if you keep recommending valuable items. It will make customers trust your recommendation and encourage them to make a purchase. So if you keep on recommending stuff to buy that is good value, they'll go, hey, that's good value. We can trust you. And that sort of improves the prices you can get for things. Hello. I'm the devoted son who came back giving up his life in Bluebird. Yes. What is it? It's politics of corporate republic. Expecting more stuff to be in the showcase. I own one thing, madam. We're expecting 21. Still can't thing it. So let's try and get 15 for it, I think. Let's call 15. I think we still got chances to compromise. So what would you say to 18? That's bang in the middle. I will accept that. Just whack it there for the price of 24. Let's sell it for 24. It doesn't look that special. Now it's in the window and we go back to the shop. Now, this fine young gentleman has brought me this paper. The youngest AVAC member, a young jeweler couple, got killed during a robbery. AVAC took their 10 year old son named Mary. Probably isn't the wisest idea to sell this, but at the same time, it's a bit of memorabilia, I suppose. I'd call 18 on that, yeah. Wow. That was surprisingly easy. Let's get that sold then. Sell it over here for 18. Praise at 27. Let's even get 27 for it. I need to ask you to keep this for me. To look around for a place to stay, but it's so heavy and I'm afraid of AVAC. Where do you get a moon rock? Ah, yeah, I'll, I'll take the moon rock. Don't worry about it. Wait for me and don't sell it. So the moon rock is now in my inventory, but it doesn't want me to sell it. Just browsing. What would you like to buy, sir? Welcome to Agic Agic. We have two new stories coming right up. Oh good, my TV at home's broken. First up, AVAC has launched their investigation into the fire at the Citizens Alliance Research Institute. The investigation is focused on finding if the fire was a mere unfortunate accident or an act of arson. It's clearly arson. Everyone was just waiting for someone to act. Whoever set that place on fire, I'm fully behind them. I would think it was me, but say it quietly. Professor Yonggi Choi is staging a one-man protest against AVAC. He argues that the lack of clear standards for what are and are not avarice crimes will cause huge confusion. He also claims AVAC is interpreting the law however they please, leading to the incarceration of innocent citizens. Fairly dystopian, like I said. Because don't you think he's just a talk? Yeah, he's a whiny bitch. Anyway, can I do something real like that arsonist? Yeah, exactly. If you want to get results... I didn't say that, YouTube. The bunker's opening again. It's going to get louder out here. So let as many citizens as possible avoid Vix Ray and we have lowered the entrance fee. Last time they said that they charged 100,000 vanners. Ooh. The new entrance fee is 25,000 vanners per citizen. It's fantastic. I can hide from Vix with 25,000. Of course, only pure floaties can enter the bunker. People who haven't been hit by Vix Rain. Goes without saying. And ticket sales are scheduled to begin in five weeks. So you want to get yourself 25,000 to be able to afford to move in. Until the day we meet, the Bunker of Freedom will be waiting for all of you. The Citizen Discourse date is still pretty quiet. Folks must be watching out on what they say because of AVAC. But the data recorder's blocked in here, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, what is that rock in the storage? Maybe you can make me some money by selling it. Where'd you get it? Some lady just came in and asked us to keep it for a few hours. So you got it for free? Yeah, but she'll come back in a few hours. If she's that, I mean, if she's in a situation to ask you that, I'm pretty sure she's being chased by AVAC. She won't make it. Why don't you just give it to me? I was actually in need of money. Come on. Yeah, you can have it. I don't care. Good kid. Looks like I brought a nice one from the beach. Here's 50 vanners for your kind heart. Marvellous. Yeah, it's easy, my Darcy. I'd like to buy the poster picked up in Bluebird over there. How much is it? Uh, it is 24. Sounds reasonable, I'll take it. Marvellous. No, already I'm in profit for the day. Mm, lovely stuff. One friend of mine gave it to me, so I don't know much about it, but I hope you will. Bluebird Ocarina. Oh, it's beautiful. It's fairly damaged though, so apparently it's only worth 51. So let's try and offer a 30 for it and see what she says. All right. Ah, she took 30. Marvellous, right, if it's worth 51, Let's get it sold for 60. Remove that. We'll add the bluebird in and we'll make it for 60. 60. Let's see. Hello. The bluebird ocarina on the showcase. How much is it? Bloody hell, that was quick. It's only 60. 
See, you're getting a good reputation already, and yep, money made. What are you selling me? A mindless mug. It's fairly damaged. And it's only worth 11, so I'm only actually going to work for you five. Well, I don't have more stuff to offer, so shut up. No. No, I'm offering you five. Six. Nah. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, the mug is here. It can go there. It was bought for six. Pays at 11. I'll sell it for 10 because I know it's crap. Hello. Uncle? No, I'm not uncle. Oh, all right. I am uncle. Ah. Hmm. Larry Jo is my fake niece. Anyway, she's got grand designs of uh, inheriting the shop for some reason. It's a second-hand shop, but she really wants to own it for some reason. And I like her hair, but she's crap. She wants to sell the cup. She wants 29 for it. She'll be lucky if she gets 15. Yeah, that's fair, actually. You do have paintings to sell. No, I'm not taking it for 90. You can fuck off. Breaking news from Adric Adric. The Association of Victims of Average Crimes is still looking for four missing persons after the fire broke in the Citizens Alliance Research Institute. I'm sure they are. All missing are men in their 30s, including the accounting staff Sang Su Sat. Mm. Mm. Bok Bei and Ji Su Cha, who've been working as researchers at the Institute, and experiment participant Yong Do are missing as well. Hmm. Hey, that will come to check your identification, so you have to make a fake ID by this Friday. Fortunately, the man who makes fake IDs lives in the same building as me, and I can go and get myself a fake ID for 800 vanners. So now you travel back home, and tonight, well, I've got enough to pay for the fake ID, so I might as well get my fake ID. Wrong in! Send it to you Monday morning. Check your inventory then. I'll have a purple booklet. That's your ID. Now go away. ID bought. So I got rid of that, but I made some money from it. My best deal of the day was the Bluebird Ocarina. That's nice. The worst one was that because I just sold it for the appraisal price. They are all going to be sold tomorrow, hopefully. And we'll have another set of stuff coming in. Hopefully. Day two. Oh. Avox end up. Are you Mr. Bob Joe? Oh no. Is it over already? Did you report from your niece? Yeah, now we decided to dob you in because you wouldn't buy a, m a mug. Look at this time, Darcy comes and saves you. Other times you do have to pay the fine, or game over. Dear citizens of Ajax City, good morning from the uh, Association of Victims of Avarice Crimes. Have a restrained and greed-free day, thank you. Since you haven't run away yet, now it's time for me to teach you how to check materials and damage levels. This is the appraisal scenario. So, this is what he told me it is. So and I need to check using a tool. First I need to check the condition, that will be the damage assessor here. So the damage assessor, we check it and it looks like it's not in perfect condition, it looks like it's in good condition. Move the material, click the material magnifier and move it onto the bag. So we see there, it is certainly a material. And that's what this here machine is for, it's the manual. So now we go to materials, and check it up against the machine and it looks a bit like it's that one. So yeah, cowhide was Right, so we've placed full level with cowhide. It's actually added value to it. However, go back to condition, we can see it's slightly damaged. Yeah, so now we have the manual, we can tell it's slightly damaged, so you slide the slightly damaged into it instead of the perfect condition, which lowers the value by 20%. Yeah, everything is shared, so you know what's going to be what. And there we can see it's going to be worth about 280. Once a customer accepts a card, you can't undo it which means you cannot remove or replace cards once the deal is closed. So don't lose focus during an appraisal, you need to make sure you get the right cards, otherwise you could cost yourself money. There's also a skill line along the alertness and how much good you are at appraising. So recommending is one thing obviously, yeah. So once you go further up, you'll get better prices because they trust you and then they'll trust you to appraise. That's what all these rec reputation cards are. The outdated newspaper on the showcase, how much is it? Uh, it's 27. That's good. You'll take it for 27. Marvellous. Thank you for your money. Have a good day. Hello, sir. My birthday present, can you please tell me how much this is worth? It's another newspaper. Okay, so... Uh, it's fairly damaged. Slide fairly damaged into there. 
that's replaced the no value. He didn't think it was valueless. Uh, go to materials and we'll check the material. See that it is that liney one, which is paper, which is there. And that's all fine. And he says it's worth 13, so I'm going to offer him 8. Oh, you're very welcome. So that's sold for 8, and now that can replace the one that we sold. 8, let's sell it at 15. Plotted Nepeth. I can't speak today, apparently. So it's a plotted pant. That much is true. He says it's made of clay. Let's check the materials. Oh, let's take the... We said it's slightly damaged, but it's actually in perfect condition. So I'll take that. It's cost me a little bit of money here, but it might also make me a bit more money down the line. The material is... That rugged thing, is that clay? Yep, it's clay, that's fine. Right, you think it's worth 71, I'm going to offer you 50. Assume my vendors, I'll take it. You've, well, you're very kind here. Thank you very much. Let's get that in the window. Uh, bought it for 50, you said it was worth 71. Let's whack 75 on it and see what happens with that. Just an ordinary bracelet. I'll be the judge of that. It's uh, fairly damaged. Sorry. Yeah, it, it's fairly damaged. Like I said, no, 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 we can't let it pass the slightly damage. Uh, no can do. Uh, we are checking the material. It is... It's silver? Yeah, it is silver. I'll give you that. So, no. You shut your whole mouth. You say it's worth 48. Right, let's offer you 30. No, I'm offering you 30. Yes. On your bike. Right. Now this. 30. Uh, Praise it 48. Let's sell it for 50. Hello, dickweed. So now he has actually bought a picture. It is in perfect condition. I will give you that. Yeah, this is cool. Right, material is... Is that canvas? That says canvas. Oh, she gave me it. Oh, in which case... Appraise of 385, special price 385. Let's sell it for 450. I'd like to buy the trophy over there. How much is it? I can't remember. It's 60. That's good. I'm glad someone remembered. Well, I like the price, but let me think for one more second. I'll buy it right away if it's 58. Yeah, go on. Then. Show me a silver bracelet without any recommendation. In this case, find the item that meets her requirements in the inventory. Uh, that'll be the silver bracelet. There we go. That took some doing, but we like it. How much is it? It is... Uh, Raise it 48, bought at 30. Let's sell it for 50. Sounds nice. Sold for 50. I'd like to buy the mindless own mug over there. Uh, yeah, it's only 10v. Is that, some, is that more appraisal? I'm not sure. We made money anyway. It's Bob Ross's son. Do you have paintings too? I do. Are you looking for paintings? This doesn't really good. Say what? I'm showing my painting tomorrow. You may even cry seeing it. Fine. And come back with your painting tomorrow. Mm. All right, son of Bob Ross. You're all right for now. Since I'm not an expert, I don't know its details, but you're an expert. You can find something, right? Right. It is a book. It's, oh, it's on the fairly side, I'm afraid. And it's made from, she says PVC. I wouldn't, I would say that's cowhide myself. Looking at all the other options, I'd say it looks like cowhide. Don't know why a book's made out of cowhide, but I'll take it. So, it's got a man marked at 41. I'm going to offer a 25. Oh, it's a rule book for a DD &D game. Excellent. Let's move them from the window. Uh, let's move this book over here. Praise at 41. Sell it for 41. I'd like to buy the pot in the Pephanies over there. How much is it? It was 75. Yep. Sounds reasonable. Lovely. I'm about 100 up on the day. Can I ask you a favour? I was supposed to meet someone out there, but I should leave right now for another business. Can you please give this to Avac for me? Oh, yeah, that's that. That's a you. Oh, dear. Let's give it to them if they find something from Dr. Gonam Choi. 
Okay, have a good life. It's a lovely pocket pet. It's a Tamagotchi! It's a Tamagotchi. It's fairly damaged, yeah. Uh, it's made from... Plastic? Yeah, plastic, yeah. That, that, that's a good as praise, actually, by you. Well done. Say it's worth 162. I'm going to offer you 110. So he just said 121. I think I'll accept that. So let's whack that into the window over here. Praise 163. Let's sell it for 170. I'd like to buy the Daily Mind Leasier over there. How much is it? It is 15. You're welcome. I'm from AVAC. Let me ask you one thing. Dr. Gunner and Chai been here. Did he leave something? Yes, he did. He left this. Try and put it on the table. There we go. You're welcome. I'm not going to get on your bad side. Any more for any more. Nope, that is the day. In the day you get somewhere again, you can see he sold a lot. The best deal and the worst deal was that. Oh no, different papers, weren't they? Yeah. So the worst deal was that because I sold it at a price, but I sold that for marginal, pro well, 87% profit. Just going to do one more day to let you get the general gist of the game. If you want to see more, please leave me a comment. I adore this game. I play it for fun. I really enjoy it. I will happily, happily do a series on it for you. Have a restrained and greed-free day. Thank you. Hello, I've asked you for a favour. A man's going to show up with a statue sometime today. He's going to insist about checking his material. Please tell him it's 24 karat gold. Why? My life depends on it. Please help me out. No, if it's not 24 karat gold, I'm not going to tell him it's not. Have your reputation to uphold. Fantasia Rulebook on the showcase. How much is it? That is 41V. You're very welcome. I don't like to take the mick and make too much money. Apart from anything else, it's a uh, avarice crime. Hi, Bob Ross. I actually preferred hers. No. It's also not perfect. Yeah, your confidence is quite concerning. I mean, if you want to give me it... If you give me it, I'll happily take it. People soon line up to buy my paintings. I'll be the judge of that. Appraised at 35. Yeah, it's crap. Um, let's sell it for 35. I don't care. It's already in the window and I'm going to sell it very cheaply. Go away. Hey, let me see what this is made of. 3D artwork. Oh, I wonder. Well, it's in perfect condition. Check the material. It's whatever that is. You know what? It is actually 24 karat gold. I'll give you that. Fair play. It's pure gold. It is really 24 karat gold. No, it, it's 24 karat gold. Let me just double check it. It is 24 karat gold. The only other thing it could be is plastic, but it's not. It's 24 karat gold. Get yeah, fucked. Didn't even make money off that nonsense. Good to see you're keeping the storage you speak. Yeah, we've already done this bit. Hard copy newspaper. It is made from paper. Yeah, I'll give you that. Condition is slightly damaged, I'm afraid. Just lower the price. I'm sorry. 27, let's offer you 20. Pay for medication treatment with this money, I guess. I don't know what that is, but okay. Uh, 20, uh, sold for 20, let's just whack it on for 27, that was the appraisal price. Very good. Hello, the lovely pocket pet on the showcase, how much is it? I forget. 170, yeah. Doesn't seem to be worth that much. I'll buy it right away if it's 157. Uh, um, let's try, let's try the appraisal price. I can't offer you the appraisal. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. What am I faffing about with six banners for? Darcy, how come there are two paintings in the window? Who gave you that silly octopus painting? Uh, Bob Ross's son. Oh, I see. Yeah, fix rain. Fix rain's not good. I've said it's not depressing. It's very much more like a mind-numbing thing. I'll take the painting with 500, do. 100%, Darcy. That's none of my business. No, it, it, it's shit. I agree, it's shit. So that's so... No, let's let's whack that. No, it, it's terrible. I'm gonna put make that my recommended item. 
Breaking news from Magic Magic, more than 60 citizens complained of severe cold symptoms after yesterday's rain. Well, you want us use an umbrella? Not allowed to use an umbrella, I was fully exposed to the rain, that's why I caught a cold. He also said I asked the association of victims of avarice crimes if they could let the elderly in the week use umbrellas. The AVAC, however, is not responding yet to his request. Hello, can you take a good look at this? I can. Arcade XO, the great heist. So I can't really do anything about what you say it is. It's not in perfect condition. He says I can't take it. Well, it's slightly damaged for starters. Bob is not re ready for this. No, I'm not, because it's got stuff that I can't appraise yet. Understandable. Hi, Nari. Your nemesis has arrived. Oh, yeah, Bob Ross's... Yeah, Bob, Bob Ross's son didn't like it. Oh, now he might be getting rid of him. Now he might be getting rid of him. <laughs> Mates gave it to me some time ago. I think you can tell me, tell me how much this is worth. It is... Uh, it's not in perfect condition. It's slightly damaged. And that is paper. So it's worth 48. So I'm going to offer you 30. It's a government poster. Let's whack it there and give myself an easy time. Sell it for 50. Thank you. Move that there. Keep the window nice and symmetrical because I'm bored like that. Darcy, hey, here's something urgent. It seems like the stabilizer is going to be here soon. He thinks actual Bob came back from Bluebird. So he will get you to take your motion mitigation treatment. Basically suppresses your emotions. It's so expensive that you may feel you might as well become a fixie. Which is one of the reasons why some people desperately wait for fix rain. Anyway, taking that treatment won't do any good for you. And to tell the truth, it's pretty easy to avoid it. You have to tell yourself you're a fixie and suppress all your emotions. Simply put, just act like a fixie as best as you can. Can you take a look at this? Pet goods. It is... Actually, it's, it's only slightly damaged. Don't worry about that. It, it's fine. I'll... You should buy this if you want to fill up your showcase. I do a bit, yeah, but I'm going to offer you more money for it. So it's slightly damaged, and it's made from that. It is made from velvet, yeah. So it's worth 82. I'm going to offer you 70, because I think I can make good money on that. You're very welcome. I get the feeling you got it from a bin. Right. Now, let's put that there. I'm going to sell it for 95. Hello, a newspaper full of sadness on the showcase. How much is it? Uh, 27 apparently. You're very welcome. Thank you. Hello, are you Darcy's son who came back in town? Bob, this is the stabilizer of Agent C, Zhu Hang Zhong. He's from the Fair Trade Commission, and his role is to prevent and settle down the chaos of the city. But according to the citizen discourse data, stabilizers usually create even more chaos. Knock it off, I'm not like those idiots. It's time to see how good your master is at restraining his emotions. And you better be completely honest. Question number one. If I say I need tons of money right now, are you going to ask me why? No. Now, if I say I need 100v from you, are you going to give me that? Uh, mm, yes. Let's just stop this shit. I can take you straight away, but I can give you a dose of fixer. Good. Was that an easy decision for you, wacko? Are you upset now? No. Here, take this money and calm yourself down. Thank you. Why don't you work for me? Forget about your father and just follow my orders. Yes. Are you just a yes man? Do you just want me to leave? No. Hmm. Here's your result. I'd say you're no fun at all. How could you be so emotionless after all those years you spent in Bluebird? What you actually need is emotion rehab, not the mitigation treatment. And of course, there's no such thing. But I will keep watching you. Remember, I'm always ready to put you in the treatment process. I think I did quite well then. Just like what I expected, this place always looks like Junica Sing Sing, you know? <laughs> so, you're selling sunglasses. They are in perfect condition. I will give you that, madam. The mm, aluminium alloy, is that what that is? Yes. So, they're worth 264 as they are. Let's offer you 220. This is surprising. You're offering me the exact price I wanted. You're very welcome. Anyway, it's great to earn more than I expected. Thanks. You're welcome. I am going to now sell these as my recommended item at ooh, 269. Let's get 300 for them. The government poster on the showcase, how much is it? 50, yeah. Thank you for your business. Well, the best deal of the day was government posters, so obviously 60%. That only sold it for 29, but it was still sold. Sold the Fantasia rule book for what it was appraised for, and that sold the painting. Yes, and I think that will do for now. No umbrellas allowed gets more complicated with more things to look for. 
um, more things to avoid selling because they're avarice crimes and a lot more to balance and it's very much in the papers please not tonight mode where you've got to make sure you're following all the rules but at the same time brand new aspect it's got a little bit of a storage wars game to it which is different and I really like it if you want to see more please let me know in the comments I would love to do more and if I don't get many comments about it maybe it'll be on Twitch rather than YouTube we'll see anyway thank you for watching today uh, back tomorrow with Fafo please check the links in the description it will mean a great deal follow on Instagram maybe bit of money on coffee who knows have a lovely evening <laughs>